disappear in plain sight. Aliens abducted. <laughs> Welcome back to Sidemen Reacts today. You have myself, Victor, and KSI reacting to five unsolved <laughs> mysteries <laughs> caught on tape. Jeez. Announcing, the announcing. That. Come on. Okay. Yo, God? <laughs> no, no, it's Toby. <laughs> Easily confused, easily confused. No, no, don't get me in trouble. Lord, it's not me, it's not me. <laughs> hey, press play, press play. Spooky. The top five mysterious unsolved cases. Jackie Sutton. In late October 2015, seasoned British journalist Jackie Sutton arrived at a Turkish airport to catch her connecting flight to Iraq where she'd been working with the free speech organization IWPR. Hours later, she was found dead in an airport restroom. Reportedly, Jackie Sutton what? had committed suicide, hanging herself using one of her own shoelaces. Now here's where things get even stranger. Early reports by the Turkish media stated that Jackie Sutton had become very upset after missing her flight to Iraq because she couldn't afford to purchase a new ticket. However, later reports revealed that Sutton could have easily paid for a new ticket. She was found carrying over 2,000 euros and two credit cards. Even more what? suspicious. Another security camera clip taken shortly before Jackie Sutton's death shows her carrying what appears to be a shopping bag containing purchases made at the duty-free shop in the airport. Critics have argued that it seems highly unlikely that Jackie Sutton would suddenly decide to do a bit of shopping shortly before committing suicide. So was Jackie Sutton's death a suicide? Or something more sinister. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I That's it. Oh, I, I hate know. you know. I almost hate these in a way because like I always want to know what happened. How they are unsolved commit... mysteries, Vic. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> How do you commit suicide with a shoelace? That also seems somewhat yeah unlikely. How, how strong are shoelaces though? That yeah, that's, shoelace is pretty solid, man. Pretty, pretty solid shoelace. Still, sketchy one for sure. Lars, Lars Matank. Matank. Lars Matank was a young German man who went on a holiday trip with friends to Varna, Bulgaria. While there, Matank was involved in a fight with some other tourists and suffered a ruptured eardrum. Because of the ear injury, Lars Matank was unable to fly, so he couldn't return to Germany with his friends. He rented a room in a hostel in a poor area of Varna, Bulgaria. Oh, I've seen this. You've seen Dude, it? I, I'm like obsessed with Unsolved Mysteries. Uh, it's like my, I don't know, I just, I, I'm always watching it. Maybe the spark will hit you this time around. Maybe, <laughs> maybe well, no, 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 it's it's still very weird. Like he's just out in the wilderness somewhere and we don't know. What? Okay, like, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that he could fly back to Germany. However, that same night, Lars Matank called his mother and said that there was something strange about the hostel that he was staying in and that she should cancel all of his credit no, cards. No, no, no. Even later that same night, Lars Matank left his hostel room in a panic, headed for the airport. He called his mother again, this time saying that four strange men were following him and that he was hiding. No, allow it. Two hours later, Lars Matank caught a cab and arrived at the Varna airport in the early morning hours. On airport security cameras, Lars can be seen entering the airport with his luggage. Watch, he starts running out. And it's like, what? <laughs> but minutes later, he is seen running from the airport in a panic, leaving his luggage behind. Eyewitnesses say that Lars Matank ran to a barbed wire fence that surrounds the airport, climbed over the fence, and then disappeared into some nearby woods. To this what? day, Lars yeah. Matank has never been found. Mad. His family Wait. asked that anyone with any info as to his current location contact them via their website or Facebook page. So what, he just jetted out and no one knows why. Yep, yep. And what, you, they never find his bags or anything. Well, they, he doesn't have a phone. He doesn't. How how will people find him? If you ever lose your phone, you're fucked. You're like a ghost essentially. Oh my. Especially God. if you're jumping into the woods and shit. That's nuts. Yeah. Maybe like maybe it's like schizophrenia kind of like he doesn't know yeah, like what be. he's just trying to escape from. He's just go go. I reckon that's got something to do with the the burst eardrum. Maybe. It's fucked up oh, his shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it oh, definitely man. could be. As in like it. Head trauma, yeah. Head yeah, yeah, trauma, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. Brian Schaefer. One of the strangest disappearances on record is that of Brian Schaefer, an Ohio State medical student. On March 31st, 2006, Brian Schaefer decided to go out for a night on the town with some of his college friends. They met at the Ugly Tuna Saluna, an upstairs bar at Ohio <laughs> State's South Campus. <laughs> Brian can be seen arriving at the bar with his two friends. They're smiling and laughing as they exit the escalator to the second floor bar. 
Around 10 p.m., Brian called his longtime girlfriend, with whom he had planned a spring break getaway to Miami a few days later. Brian told her that he loved her and would see her soon. Brian's girlfriend said that the call was nothing out of the ordinary. Later, Brian Schaefer is seen again on security camera near the escalators, talking to two girls. He seems to say goodbye and then heads back into the bar. Brian Schaefer was never seen again. Security Whoa. cameras covering the only exits of the Ugly Tuna Saluna bar do not show Brian Schaefer ever leaving. That is weird. The only possible other exit would have been through an area of the bar that was under heavy construction at the time and closed off to the public. However, even if Schaefer had left through the construction area, there are multiple other security cameras in the bar's vicinity. None of these cameras picked up footage of Brian Schaefer ever leaving the bar. It's almost as Yo. if Brian Schaefer disappeared into thin air in the middle of a crowded bar. Man, and that's Bruh. it. <laughs> Bruh. Why did I'm like, give me more. Tell me more. There, there isn't that's, any more. That's the point, that's right? Crazy. That's the point. There isn't any more. It's just, that's it. How do you disappear in plain sight? Aliens abducted. Platform nine and three quarters. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Alan Jill. On the evening of February 23rd, 2014, Alan Jill took a strange trip through Cornwall, England. Does he slightly look like Pewdie? <laughs> no. I, no. You can't see <laughs> no, it? No, I no. can't see that. In the eyes? No. no. I'm not bugging. No. I'm bugging. <laughs> you <it>. might be <laughs> bugging. You're glitching, bro. Your system's like, glitching. He, he looks like every homeless person I've ever seen. Right. Bruh. Let's keep okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, no, it's not in a bad way. Like, Look, you're just jealous of his beard, JJ. So okay. Well, they've got yeah. better beards than me. Okay, so. <laughs> you're right, just let's jealous. keep it moving. Hey, yo, boy. <laughs> His forehead, though. Just stop. Uh, I beat right. him in the forehead department, so shush. Okay. <laughs> Captured by surveillance cameras, Jill spent his evening wandering the streets of several different cities for hours. Several different cities. He was seen in Wadebridge, then traveled by bus to Truro, then on to Bruh. Newquay, then back to Perrinport. No one knows why Alan Jill took yeah. this strange trip or what he was doing wandering the streets of four different cities all night. Yeah. The next morning, the dead body of Alan Jill was found Whoa. washed up on the shore of Perrinporth Beach. Jill was naked except for one sock and one shoe. Yo. But the story gets even stranger. How? Alan Jill's other sock was found wadded up inside his mouth, wrapped in the cord of a pair of earbud-type headphones. Near his nah. body was a black jacket containing a wallet with 95 British pounds, but his bank cards, credit cards, and ID were missing. However, the wallet contained a single bizarre picture, Alan Jill as a child. Even stranger, the jacket the wallet was found in was not the one that Alan Jill had been wearing on the night of his death. Initially, Alan Jill's death was thought to just be a very strange suicide. However, an autopsy revealed multiple unexplained injuries to Alan Jill's right hand, chest, and head. Police ruled the death as suspicious case still remains unsolved and no one knows exactly what happened to Alan Jill. Oh. Right. Nah, he definitely, he definitely had, there was probably someone or some people who just... Foul play in it. Yeah, robbed him or some shit. But, That's, they leave but the, money was, yeah, the money was still there, yeah. You're more likely to steal cash because it's, it's, it's harder to trace. Getting the cars yeah, in the yeah, idea. True, true, weird. yeah. That is weird. What that the is hell? Weird. <sighs> Hold the Jameson family. One of the most bizarre disappearances in recent history is that of the Jameson family of Eufaula, Oklahoma. The Pastor Gary Brandon claims that the Jamesons yeah. told him that their home was haunted by angry spirits. Oh, wow. The Jamesons said that they had made contact with the spirits of a dead family in their house oh, and that their six-year-old daughter, Madison... Uh, no! Oh, oh, wow, 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 don't pause it. Wow, it! Don't pause it, bro! <laughs> Get that off my screen! Why often talked to the it? ghost family's oh, child. Shit. The Jamesons said that two of the ghosts were called Emily and Michael no, and that one of the no. apparitions had wings like an angel. No. Yeah. Allegedly fearing for the safety of his family, Bobby Jameson had asked Pastor Brandon if there were quote-unquote special bullets that he could use to fight off the intruding spirits. Pastor Brandon also said that Jameson mentioned that he had obtained a quote-unquote satanic bible. Wow. I'm sorry, but is that not an American solution to a ghost problem? What bullets well, can I shoot them with? <laughs> Not like I'm gonna leave. Uh, no, no, what, what can I shoot them with? Yeah, I need some bullets for my ghost gun. 
<laughs> that was my oh, accent. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happened there, bro. I don't know what's happened there. Oh, well, that's no. my hillbilly accent. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm about to kill some ghosts. <laughs> okay. Okay. In order to attempt to ward off the ghostly beings, on October 8, 2009, the Jameson family loaded their pickup truck for a trip. They can be seen on their own front yard security camera moving things from their house to their truck. Bizarrely, the family seems to be in some sort of daze or trance-like state, making dozens of trips back and forth from the house to the truck, but never talking to each other once. After loading the truck, the Jamesons pulled out of the driveway and were never seen alive again. Well. Eight days later, the Jamesons' pickup truck was found by the side of the road. Locked inside the truck were the Jamesons' wallets and IDs, their cell phones, and $32,000 cash. Also so locked inside the truck was the family's small dog, which was nearly dead from starvation. Oh. A massive oh. statewide search was launched for the family over the next eight months, but nothing was found. Multiple theories were circulated. One that Bobby and Cheryl and Jameson had been meth users and had been involved in a meth deal gone bad. This theory would also explain their trance-like state in the final video of the family. However, absolutely no evidence of drug use was found when police searched the Jameson family home. Four years after the Jameson family's disappearance, deer hunters stumbled across some skeletal remains in a remote area of the Eufaula Mountains less than three miles from where the Jameson's truck had been found. The bodies were forensically identified as the remains of the Jameson family. However, the bodies were so badly decomposed that no cause of death could be determined. The reason for the Jameson family's strange behavior and the cause of their death remains a mystery to this day. Jesus. That's stress. That is stress. Oh. Major stress. What well, scarier than the unknown? I mean, there's a lot of things we don't know, man. <laughs> leave not... space. I mean, I mean, leave Earth. I mean, <laughs> let's not go down that rabbit hole. You leave again. Earth, bro. Like, yeah, there's a lot of crazy shit, bro. Like, there could be an actual Superman. You're That's where your mind goes to after this. <laughs> it could be a Superman. <laughs> That's not so scary. That's quite cool, actually. Well, I mean, unless the Superman hates humans. Okay. Then we're <laughs> fucked. Bro, imagine <laughs> Superman just turned evil and was like, I'm about to kill all the Sidemen. Why <laughs> would he target us? Hey, hey, yeah, what do we do? It's like, you... yo, the Sidemen, the SMP lot, all of you lot. Dead. Your, your imagination <laughs> is wild, JJ. I think that's one of your like, like. YouTubers <laughs> dead. Influencers dead. Everyone dead. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with you. I don't know, what, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. But um, those were five unsolved mysteries. Actually, a bonus one: the the mystery of JJ's imagination because it is wild. Yo, Hopefully that's been you guys me. did enjoy. Let us know your theories in the comments. And I like, uh, I like. I like Leonardo DiCaprio though. He, he's cool. He can live. <laughs> yeah, end the video, Vic. End the video. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not alright. <laughs>